period has is, is gotten smaller. And I think Xi Jinping during his lifetime uh, would like to see, would like to have the glory of reunification with Taiwan in order to his benefit. This is Xi Jinping wanting to take Taiwan during his lifetime. And so I think we have to be very careful with what's happening in Ukraine and, and Vladimir Putin's move. I think we could see Xi Jinping moving very quickly within the next year, two to three years and attempting to coerce Taiwan into a reunification that the people of Taiwan just don't want. The people of Taiwan have a wonderful life. They're, they're one of the great stories of my lifetime is Taiwan, another is South Africa. But Taiwan has developed a, th a vibrant, thriving democracy. Uh, uh, it has the rule of law. It has innovative, creative people. When I was in office, my top priority was to make sure that Taiwan was not invaded. And that was a priority of President Trump. And to their credit, I want to compliment the Biden administration. Even though they're not of my party, President Biden has said on four occasions now that he would defend Taiwan if China invaded. Now, his staff has tried to walk that back, but I think President Biden's heart is in the right place when it comes to Taiwan. So I think Xi Jinping, I think Taiwan being a democracy is a challenge to Xi Jinping and to the Communist Party. They take the position that people of Chinese origin can't live in a democracy, that they can only be controlled by a strong man. And Taiwan shows that the Chinese people, just like Chinese people in America and Singapore, are innovative, they're creative, they're hardworking, and they can thrive in a democracy. And so it, Taiwan's very existence gives lie to the Communist Party propaganda uh, about needing a strong man to control things. No one wants to destroy Taiwan or invade Taiwan other than Xi Jinping and the Communist Party of China. Uh, America is prepared and has been spending a lot of money and effort to make sure that Taiwan stays free and, and, and the, the democracy in Taiwan is maintained and the people enjoy their individual liberty. So the only people that will destroy Taiwan through an invasion are communist China. And anyone who says that the U.S. is somehow going to destroy Taiwan or attack Taiwan, you know, that, that's propaganda and misinformation from the, the Chinese Communist Party.